So today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair so that I can get extra body and volume in my new bob. Um, this technique will also work with longer hair, um, but it does tend to work a little bit better when you have um, shorter layers. Like if you look at my haircut, you can see that I have shorter layers, which just basically accentuate my crown and just give me some added lift and volume um, on the top of my head. But like I said, you can use this when you have longer hair because as you guys know, I had really long hair before and I did curl my hair the same way. I'm going to show you guys what I've already used. I've already washed my hair in the shower this morning. Um, as soon as I get out, I apply my Alterna Bamboo Smooth Anti-Breakage Thermal Spray. And you definitely need to use a heat protectant if you're going to be curling or straightening your hair. That's an obvious. Um, this Alterna Bamboo Smooth is one of the best that I've ever used. The reason that I like this product is not only because it protects up to 428 degrees, which I definitely need with my new curling iron, um, but also it works as a sort of leave-in conditioner and detangler. Um, it just has a little spray nozzle, but when it comes out, the product is sort of thick. Um, it's not like a liquid spray like you might expect. It's almost like a sort of gel consistency, and I just run it from roots to ends all throughout my hair, and I can comb right through it. There are no tangles. It completely detangles my hair, and it also protects it. It makes it light and fluffy. I don't feel like I have any product in my hair. Definitely recommend the Alterna Bamboo, and you can get this at Folica.com. The second product that I use directly following the heat protectant is my Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Mousse. And this stuff is fabulous as well. I just sort of run this all up in the crown. I just sort of fluff it through the roots of my hair just so I can get some added volume. And I got this at Target, so love the herbal essences. And then I basically go through and I round brush my hair with this round brush by Zoe. And this is from Ulta as well. So definitely important to use a round brush if you want to get this sort of look where your hair is all sort of curled in, which is the look that I like with this shorter hairstyle. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I curl it to give me so much body and volume. Um, I'm going to be using my two inch barrel hot tools curling iron. You can see this is a very large curling iron. Um, so if you have longer hair, you might opt to go with something a little bit smaller. Um, because I have shorter hair, I absolutely love the two inch because it just gives me a ton of volume. I obviously do not want to have small ringlets or serious curls with hair this short. I just want to have sort of smoothed out and then um, a curl here at the end, just sort of curling in. So this two inch is amazing. I got this at Folica. Um, it has awesome heat settings. It gets really, really hot. It can go all the way up to 430 degrees. Right now I have it set at about 390, 400 just because like I said, um, the 430 is really, really hot and I have very fine thin hair so I don't want to set it all the way up to the highest setting. It's a basic spring curling iron. Absolutely love it because it does get really hot so it curls amazing. Um, and I'm obviously loving the two inch barrel size. It's huge, chunky, and I really like it. What I'm going to do first is just section off the top half of my hair, and I'm just gonna clip it. This is just a clip from my hot roller set. You can get them anywhere, really, any hair, hair products. And I'm just gonna go ahead and curl the bottom first. I just wanna focus on that part first because especially with a shorter haircut, cut this bottom layer can sort of get left out while you're curling. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl that first. So I'm just going to clamp and curl under. And you can see how well that curls right away. And again, I do not have this on the hottest setting. It can get way hotter. So I'm just going to go all the way around my head, clamp, go almost to the end, and then curl under. Don't go all the way to the end of your hair. I know that I used to do that because I thought I would get that really annoying bend at the end of my hair. But I find that if you don't go all the way to the end, you don't get that bend and um, your hair doesn't slip out of the barrel. Because if you have really fine hair like mine, if you go all the way to the end, your hair is just going to slip right out and not curl. Especially with a bigger barrel like this. So, And I'm like losing my voice. I'm getting sick. I don't, I don't know what's going on with me. I feel like I'm always sick. So I'm just going around and I'm curling it under. <clears throat> and with this curling iron, you don't have to hold it very long at all because like I said, it gets really hot, which is another thing that I love. It curls really, really quickly.
Okay. Alright, so now the bottom layer of my hair is curled, and I'm just going to go ahead and let part of my hair down. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this back half out, and this top half, almost like the um, front layer of hair that you would use if you were going to do a half up, half down style, I'm just going to leave that clipped up because I like to curl that last. I'm a little more particular about that section of my hair because obviously it's right in the front. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and curl this next layer of hair. And I just think that sectioning, even though it looks like it adds time to your routine, I think it actually um, makes things a little bit quicker because then you're not having um, a whole big stack of hair that you have to sort of sort through to make sure everything is curled. Going a layer at a time is a lot easier. So you can see here at the top, my layers are really short. So, But even with how short my hair is right now, I can still use this big two inch. So even if you have hair as short as mine, hair a little bit longer than mine, or even a little bit shorter than mine, you can probably still go with a two inch. <clears throat> so I'm just going around the crown of my head, making sure that I'm curling all of my layers under. So just hold your curling iron like this, your clamp like this, clamp, go almost to the end, and then roll it under. And then just hold it for a second, and it should come out nice and curled. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. Did y'all hear that? See, my hair just slipped out there. I went too far. So I'm just going through and curling. See? Hopefully you guys can see how well that's curling. And sometimes I'll go in just where I see a bottom layer that needs to be recurled and just curl it. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going right here around this crown of my head because that's where I want the most volume at. And curling it all under. When I had longer hair, I used to, I used to do a lot more flipping out. Um, but now that my hair is shorter, it just looks better curled under with this particular cut. So. I really don't do anything too flippy. Okay, so that's what I do all the way around. Now you can unclip this crazy section of front hair here. And just grab it like this, just pull it up. Open your curling iron so that the clamp part opens towards the mirror. Clamp it, go almost all the way to the end, and then roll it down like this. So your hair looks like a big, fat Chipotle burrito. Can you tell I'm hungry? <laughs> I'm so hungry. And then just release it. And you just have to mess with it a little bit. Then I grab this front section, curl it under. Let it out. Grab this front section and curl it under. I always feel like George Washington when I have my hair like this with like the two rolls on the side. <laughs> Just make sure that you get that back section. I have to like crouch down so you guys can see. But this is the back part of my hair that I'm curling under and just curl it right on top of your head because that also adds some extra lift and then just release it. Okay, Okay. so my camera just died. What else is new? <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to carry on with my little Sony cyber shot. Um, but anyways, so take this front bang part and curl it under. Boop. Oh my gosh, I look like Susie Who. Or like alfalfa, one of them. One of them people. All right, so that's the part. This is just the part that's like most important to me because it's in the front. So I always like to make sure that's like super curled. Um, so anyways, then I'll just lift this um, front top portion of my hair and I'll just take my big flat paddle brush by Conair and I got this at Ulta too, I believe. And I will just tease it. I just tease the side right here, the right side of the hair because I want it to lay to the right and I like to just give it some volume, so. 
There, now you can see that that's kind of standing up. Oh my gosh, this camera is making my hair look so shiny. Love it. And then I just keep teasing these front parts just so that they have some added volume, all right? Then I come over here and I do the same thing, only I'm teasing underneath. So I pull my hair up like this, and then I just tease down. See what that did? And then you just comb it out. So see how that stands out a little bit more now? And you can do that pretty much all the way around the crown of your head. I typically just focus it on the front because I know that teasing really isn't that healthy for your hair. Um, but I just tease it just the top layers because they're so short they need some added volume. This is the completed look and then after you tease with your paddle brush usually I'll just take my little fingers and I will just sort of um, run my fingers right through the roots where I did the teasing and that just fluffs it up like I can get my hair really crazy like my hair can get really crazy high sometimes I'll take this back section right here and I'll tease that under basically just tease it at the back at the base of your hair and then you can just brush that out see and now the back has a little more body as well run your fingertips through it again and just add some volume um, or just take your hands and go underneath your hair like this and just fluff it and it will just all fluff out oh now I look like a poodle now I look like a poodle um, but anyway so this is the completed look this is how I typically do my hair every day um, if you want after this you can just use some smoothing serum because I know I have some flyaways so I'll probably use some of my chi silk infusion um, at this part just to make sure that my hair doesn't look like a frizzy mess because after you tease your hair can look really frizzy even when it isn't and let me just show you guys a natural lighting because this light is like whoa really bright um, just so that you can see a little better what my hair looks like so this is the side you can see I just have all my little layers curled under this is the other side so guys that's how I achieved sexy volume and body in my hair I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will put a list of the products I use down below as well as any links and I hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time Bye.